comeback falls just short for the Marshall Thundering Herd. 60 points in the second half, but a poor start in the first sinks Marshall. 97-86 loss at home to the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Marshall couldn't get off the schneid in the first half, only recorded 26 points while allowing the Blue Raiders to shoot 60% from the field. After the game, Ryan Taylor, who scored 13 of his 20 total points in the second half, frustrated with the team's start. I don't know. I mean, we got the look. We shot 9% from three in the first half. And just 26 overall from the field. We can't do that. Despite his team leading by at least 20 points for majority of the first half, Middle Tennessee head coach Kermit Davis, after the game, acknowledged the challenges his team faced in defending the high-octane offense of Marshall. I just don't think you can guard Marshall conventional. You can't be a conventional man-to-man -man team. You've, you've got to add some switching to it. Uh, you've got to disrupt rhythm with some 1-3-1, one, one, which we play. We try to change some defenses because when they come downhill and Elmore and those guys are so good. It'll be back to the drawing board now for the Marshall coaching staff. But with a two-game road trip to Old Dominion and Charlotte upcoming, head coach Dan D'Antoni cautioned fans not to panic just yet. You can't let one, this, this program, can't let one defeat or why we didn't do that. It's got to stay consistent and constant. And then eventually we're going to break this thing and get us into where we're winning championships. The loss is just Marshall's second at home this season, dropping the herd to eight and six in conference play. They still have an outside shot of cracking the top four and getting a first round bye in the Conference USA tournament later on in March. The Thundering Herd will go on the road for the next two games and will be back home March 2nd to face off against Rice at 7 p.m. For MUTV, I'm Jake Griffith.